In a previous video, we looked at how to filter and select objects using query commands. Let's explore this tool further. Queries that operate on property fields are not used in isolation. Instead, you have to impose conditions on them using operators. For example, to find all primitives with a width equal to 0.1 mm, we need a query of the form shown on screen. The mathematical equals operator is used here as part of the query. The system will then check all objects in the current document and find objects that satisfy the query criteria. Now let's change the search query to find primitives with a width less than 0.1 mm. To do this, use the less than operator. The less than or equal to operator is also available. For numeric purposes, you can also specify a bounded range using the between and operator. Note that the boundaries will also be included in the search range. One disadvantage of these queries is that we get all primitives of the specified width, regardless of their purpose. This includes signal conductors, lines and overlay layers, and elements in mechanical layers. To narrow the scope of the query, let's impose an additional restriction using the onSignal command. Now we have all primitives with the specified width located only on signal layers. To combine commands, we use the AND logical operator which will return only those objects that satisfy the two criteria simultaneously. In addition to the AND operator, Altium Designer supports OR, NOT, and exclusive OR operators. Consider a query that returns all signal conductors located on the top or bottom layers, except for conductors assigned to the ground net. This is shown in the query field in the PCB panel. In addition to logical operators, Pay attention to parentheses, as these define the order in which commands are executed. Brackets or parentheses always have the highest execution priority. The logical negation operator is next in priority. Third priority goes to operators for expansion, multiplication, division, calculating remainder, integer division, as well as the AND logical operator. Addition, subtraction, OR logical, and exclusive OR logical operators come next. Next priority is given to comparison operations. And finally, the AND and OR operators have the lowest priority. When calling numerical properties, it is important to watch out for measurement units. Otherwise, the query result may be incorrect. The query engine interprets numbers in queries using the current units. Let's change the unit of measure and try to rerun the query. The new query result is blank because the system compares the width of tracks in mils to a value that was originally entered in millimeters. To prevent this, you can use a special function to tell the query engine to read property values in specific units.